Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Enthusiast Experiment. Technically, I guess, pencil review edition, as this is a sharpener. I'm Mike. Let's get into it, shall we? So this is the new... Uh, I was going to do a unboxing closer to the release, but you guys know I really like to put stuff to use before kind of showing it on the channel so I can have a little bit more of an accurate review, real-world use case scenario, whatever. Anyways, but this is the relatively new release from Blackwing. Their long point single step sharpener um, and got it in, put it to work. You can see on the bottom there, beautiful, beautiful packaging. They've really done a good job with their rebranding again. Uh, I think this is the sec second or third time. <laughs> um, I guess they like doing that, but this is super clean, awesome. You can see obviously the, the packaging minimal while still being gorgeous. Uh, they did a really, really good job. Um, and the sharpener itself. So we'll go ahead and put this back and over to the side. Uh, and you can see the beauty and design carries over to the sharpener itself. I really like that the sharpener evokes the shape of a pencil, albeit a lot bigger. <laughs> but this is still really, really portable, a really good size. Um, you can see the sharpening hole. It's very, very simple, you know, not much to show you on the sharpener itself. Um, one thing that will probably surprise you if you get this is how deep the thread is. Um, so just keep unscrewing, it'll eventually come off. I want to show you the reservoir first. This thing is pretty massive, which is great. Gives you plenty of uh, opportunities to sharpen your pencil without having to empty it, you know, constantly. Uh, take a look at the blade here. You can see the blade housing. This is all aluminum. This, not sure, might be able to hear that. Also metal and metal. So really, really well made sharpener. Uh, and the tolerances are super tight, uh, meaning it's just like, it just fits together really, really nicely. So the engineering on this is awesome too. And you can see the blade itself has a slight curve to it. So you're going to get a similar point to like the Pollux. Um, a long curved point. Beautiful, beautiful. There you go. Uh, go ahead and put this back in here. I think I'll get into some of the stats here. I'm going to set this down so you guys can look at it. And the rough numbers here. So it is 1995 for the sharpener. Uh, it is made out of machined aluminum. It has a German steel blade. My guess to this, I don't think it's been confirmed anywhere yet. I'm not sure. Um, leave a comment down below if you have seen it, but I think it's just the Kum blades, the K-U-M, um, I think. Uh, it states on the website that it also holds, the reservoir holds three freshly sharpened pencil shavings. So if you start from scratch, like a uh, a completely unsharpened pencil, it can supposedly hold three full sharpenings uh, from three unsharpened pencils. So that's a lot, a really big tank here, if you will, which again is great. That's what I was talking about earlier. This is a really, really good portable sharpener because you don't have to worry about uh, emptying it, you know, every, every sharpen. Um, so for me, I really, really, again, I love the design and the size. Uh, this is still a really small sharpener. Uh, fits in the palm of your hand very easily in a pocket if you want to. In my case, a pencil bag um, or backpack pocket, anything like that. And you can carry it around. It's not going to obstruct anything or get in the way while still holding you know, a ton of shavings. Love it. Um, the construction, again, is awesome. It fits together really, really well. Uh, the only two things... My only two gripes, I guess. Uh, the first one, again, if you guys know anything, please let me know down in the comments below. I still can't find any official replacement blades for this. Um, I like to grab like a three pack or six pack, however they come, uh, when I get a new sharpener that I enjoy so that I have some blades on standby. Um, but again, you can see it looks exactly like the Coom blades, except it, this one obviously has the Blackwing logo on there. Um, so if you guys know where to find those, let me know. Uh, if it is a standard coom blade size, like uh, let let us know that down in the comments below too. So anybody that does get the sharpener will be able to get replacement blades. Uh, if I missed it on the Blackwing site, I apologize. Uh, but if you could link to that too, that'd be great because I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, and my only other gripe, this is so stupid. I know you're all going to be like, this is dumb. But for me, just one of those little things that like bugs me is you can't get the logo to line up with the hole, the sharpening hole. 
So you could see, like, if I put it, you could put it in one of four positions. As you could see, there's, like, the little crosses. So it can go here, which you could see it just misses. Or you can go here, which, again, misses. And it's just, like, it's just off enough. Like, if the lettering were on this side, you'd see it would line up perfectly. Or it would be on the opposite side, which I think would be fine, too. Again, it's not... <laughs> By no means would I tell you not to buy the sharpener because of that. That's just one of my little nitpicky things of being OCD, I guess. But otherwise, phenomenal sharpener. So let's see how it does. I got one of these beautiful uh, new Musgrave, the Tennessee Reds. Might be a review coming soon. Stay tuned. Um, and bust it off the tip, and we'll give it a sharpen so you guys can see what the point looks like. Um, I didn't want to sharpen from a... A brand new unsharpened pencil just because that takes a while and this is already boring enough you guys are watching me sharpen a pencil on YouTube right now um, but I think not yet it does not have a stop so like uh, Blackwing or Coombs two point long long point sharpener uh, does have a stop so you can't really over sharpen the pencil this one does not so you do have to pull it out and check uh, and we're there which you can see that's a beautiful, beautiful point. Nice round, works obviously really well with this pencil as well. Um, it, In my use so far, it works with pencils that have both harder and softer leads. Um, the Pollux can be a little bit finicky on softer leads, uh, can be a little bit of a pain. This one so far seems to do pretty well. I don't know if the angle of the blade is just a little less steep, not sure. Definitely not an expert in that area, but my user experience seems to be this takes a little bit more of a wider range of pencils while still giving you a great point. Um, that's pretty sturdy and seems to last. It is obviously pretty sharp, so I mean you're probably going to bust off that little tip at the end, but overall it's awesome. I highly recommend the sharpener, uh, especially if you don't have one or if you're in the market for one. Blackwing did a phenomenal job. It really looks like they're listening to the uh, pencil community and what they're looking for, and I uh, definitely commend them for that. So if you like this review, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, shared, and subscribe where you see necessary, and uh, thanks for swinging by. I do really appreciate you joining us today. Uh, if you have any additional information on the blades or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. If you picked one of these up, let me know how you liked it, and if you have any questions, throw those in there too. I'll try and jump in and answer anything that I see. Thanks again. Appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Have a wonderful week.